Hey guys, there's nothing like doing a video while your daughter's vacuuming. Now you don't continue vacuuming while I try to do this video? Oh, okay. Well guys, I was just going to read uh, an article here to you from uh, National Inflation Association. It's on uh, food inflation uh, spiraling out of control. And uh, the Bureau of Labor Statistics today released their Producer Price Index, PPI, report for March 2010, and the latest numbers are shocking. Food prices for the month rose by 2.4%. It's sixth consecutive monthly increase and the largest jump in 26 years. <whistles> Food inflation, guys. Uh, NI believe, NIA believes that major breakout in uh, food inflation could be imminent, similar to what is currently being experienced in India. Some of the startling food prices increased on a year-over-year -year basis include fresh and dry vegetables up 56%, fresh fruits and melons up 28%, eggs for fresh use 33%, pork 19%, veal and beef 10%, uh, products, dairy products up 9.7%. On October 30th, 2009, NIA predicted that inflation would appear next in food and agriculture, but we never anticipated it would spiral so far out of control this quickly. The PPI, the, price, uh, the uh, producer price index, foreshadows price increases that will later occur in the retail sector. With U6 unemployment rising last month to 16.9%, that's U6 numbers, um, I think the official is like 9.8 or something like that. But this includes discouraged workers and uh, part-time workers that want full-time employment. Many retailers are currently reluctant to pass along uh, rising prices to consumers, but they will soon be forced to do so if they want to avoid reporting huge losses to their shareholders. So eventually, friends, it's going to hit us, the consumers. Right now it's hitting the, the uh, producers. Food stamp usage in, in the U.S. has now increased for 14 consecutive months. Okay, the bread lines of the 1930s, okay, that's essentially, you know, food stamps. Now, there are now 39.4 million Americans on food stamps, up 22.4% from one year ago. Okay, a year ago we should have been starting the recovery, right? That's what we were promised. Green shoots were all over the place and we were have, in a recovery. But it turns out 22% increase in food stamps, okay? Foreclosures hitting record numbers, foreclosures. And the option arms are about to hit. And I just talked to a real estate agent today. He's been around here for years. He says, banks are not lending money. He says, it's dead. I said, how many houses you sell? And he said, none. I said, how about commercial? He says, none. He said, it's dead. They don't want it. They're sitting on the money. Banks don't want to lend it out. You know why he told me? They're afraid of this next downturn. The one that's coming. The U.S. government is now paying out more to Americans in benefits than it collects in taxes. Ooh, taxes. I hate that word. Uh, we owe 40000 in taxes and we have no way to pay it because of the downturn. Normally we pay every year. We have been for seven, eight years, but we can't pay it now. As food inflation continues to surge, our country will soon have no choice but to, to cut back on food stamps and other entitlement programs. Most financial experts, last paragraph guys, um, most financial experts in the mainstream media are proclaiming that the recession is over and inflation is not a problem in the U.S. Unfortunately, they fail to realize that rising food and gasoline prices, diesel hit 302 a gallon here in northeast Wyoming today. Um, accounted for 58% of February's year-over-year, 3.85% -year, rise in retail prices. NIA believes price inflation is beginning to accelerate in many areas of the economy besides food and energy, and all increases in U.S. retail sales this year will be entirely due to inflation. It's here, and if Bernanke raises interest rates, guess what? You, you combine it, higher interest rates, which is going to happen, because they're creating another bubble right now, but when they pop down, I mean, interest rates got to go up. And uh, 
and you couple that with with rising unemployment and huge foreclosures and you know how many how many food stamps can the government give out uh, anyway guys did you like that article that's pretty good wasn't it it's a pretty good article kinda gives you uh, a realistic view of what's going on in this grand recovery we're in okay people that I saw that were really optimistic you know last summer and towards the fall I think they're starting to it's starting to click you know it's starting to go ding so we'll see take care guys god bless have a good weekend enjoy your weekend um, here it is raining cats and dogs and pigs and horses it's it's raining it's been raining since news since noon today so we only worked half a day didn't we you guys want to see outside real quick I don't think that you're not gonna be able to see the rain you see the messy room but we're cleaning right now so getting ready for the weekend but my neighbor over there he flies He's, well you can't see it I guess Normally he's flying. He's got two flags out there and right in his entryway. His house is down over the hill there. He flies a, a Wyoming state flag and a United States flag. Well, you can't see it, I guess. Anyway, guys, that'll make them sick trying to follow that around. Anyway, good talking with you guys. Hope you enjoyed the article. Um, Talk to you later. Have a good weekend. Kiss your kids. Hug your wife. Your spouse. Bye.